Hi, I'm Stella. I'm one of the senior consultants here at Foresight Clinic and today we're going to be talking about Pico lasers and how they affect colour tattoos. So here at Pulse Light Clinic, we've got two machines that we use. So they're pretty much the gold standard for tattoo removal. We have the Peak Away and the Pico Shore lasers. And we're one of the only clinics in the UK that, that's able to have both. And the way they work is Pico Second technology is so much quicker than something like you might have RevLite or Q-Switch technology. It's much quicker. It breaks down that tattoo ink a lot quicker as well. Um, tattoo ink sets the layers into the skin. So Pico Second technology breaks down more layers than any other type of laser for tattoo removal. So in regards to how the Pico lasers work on different skin types, typically Fitzpatrick 1 to 3 is on Pico Shore and Fitzpatrick 4 to 6 is on Pico Way and that's just because the wavelengths make it safer for different skin types. So the main difference between colour ink and black ink is the fact that colour ink doesn't tend to be as deep into the skin as black ink is, which is why when removing using the Pico second lasers, colour ink goes much quicker than dark ink does. Now we're going to break down different colour tattoos and how they work on Pico lasers, especially in regards to different skin types. So green, blue, purple ink is very treatable. We use the Pikachu to do these treatments. Typically though, it is only suitable for Fitzpatrick 1 to 3 and that is just due to the wavelength of the Pikachu laser itself. When doing the treatment, typically that tattoo ink isn't as deep into the skin as say black ink is, um, which is why it can be a lot easier to remove in most cases. White tattoo ink is pretty much irremovable just because it doesn't have any colour to it. It can also oxidise once touched with the laser and it can turn grey and once it turns grey there's pretty much nothing we can do with it at that point. So the easiest thing to do is just avoid it wearing when possible. So in terms of red, orange and yellow ink tattoos, so we can treat those colours however yellow is almost irremovable just because it's so light of a colour it's barely able to be picked up on the laser. For the red and orange usually we use peak away and that's just because the wavelength makes it so much easier to pick up. However for red ink itself usually it's only safe to do on skin types of 1 to 3 and that's just because it's not safe to do on darker skin, it's too aggressive. So black ink tattoos are very easy to treat. We can treat them on both the Pika Shore and the Pika Way. Which machine you get depends on what your tattoo looks like, how old it is, if you have shading, if you have line work, and of course the colour of your skin. If you have a very new tattoo, possibly, and you're a skin type 1 to 3, possibly you can start on the Pico Shore. Um, but for most people we do use the Pika Way because the Pika Way is much better at picking up that black ink. Black ink on darker skin types is very safe to treat and this is because of the wavelength we use. So again, it is that NDAG wavelength. It's the same if you do hair removal. We're using exactly the same so you know it's completely safe to treat. You don't get any adverse reactions on it. If you have any further questions regarding Pico lasers or coloured ink tattoos, please feel free to go online and book a free consultation and one of our consultants will get back to you. Thank you so much for watching our video and take care.